Last week, women's soccer continued its role through the regular season, while volleyball was digging pink and playing marathon matches. And with basketball on the horizon, we'll take a closer look at how the women's basketball team is preparing for the coming season. All of that is coming up on your HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hi everyone and welcome to the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm Keith Arsenault and I'm here in the Chase Family Arena, home of Hartford Basketball and the site of Midnight Mania, the annual basketball kickoff event here on the campus of the University of Hartford, which will be held here Friday night. There's more on that later in the show, but first, let's jump straight into the highlights. We start on the soccer field, first half. Caitlin Alves with a great run down the left side. She finds Mary Beth Hamilton in the 23rd minute. Hawks are up one to nothing. Moving on, second half. The long pass from Caroline Dixon finds the streaking Alves. She gets behind the defense and she puts it in for her first goal. Now she's got a goal and an assist. Two nothing Hawks. Caitlin Alves though, she's not done. Free kick. Head ball, headed again by Chanel Johnson, and she finds, guess who, Caitlin Alves, two goals and an assist as the Hawks roll over the Seawolves, 3 to nothing to move their record to 11-0-2 on the season. The women have a couple more conference home games coming up. Thursday night, they host Maine, and Sunday, Senior Day, they've got the Vermont Catamounts. Moving inside Friday night, volleyball hosting in-conference rival UMBC. The Hawks fell behind two sets to one, but here we are, fourth set, and the big block, Jackie Tambury, and that proved to turn the tables. The Hawks went on to win that fourth set, thanks in part to Cammie Nethersole and her 25 kills on the night. Here we are, fifth set, the Hawks playing some defense as Michelle Cordell gets the kill there. And here it is, final point of the match. Hawks defend, and they're able to return this one. Michelle Cordell with another kill. The Hawks went on to beat the Retrievers 3-2. Another home game on Sunday afternoon. It's Dig Pink Day in Hartford. The coach, Don Ferguson, he's in pink as the Hawks host the Stony Brook Seawolves. It was a back and forth match between the two clubs. As you see, Cammie Nether sold 25 kills Friday. She had 20 on Sunday afternoon, but the Seawolves proved to be just a little bit too much as they won in five sets, three to two. Taking a look last week, the Hawks went one and two overall winning the sandwich match against UMBC but falling to UConn early in the week and then Stony Brook on Sunday. The Hawks will look to get back on track this weekend as they host America East rivals Albany on Friday and Binghamton Sunday. The men's soccer team spent a week on the road at Army falling in double overtime and then at Albany conference game tying one to one. They have a pair of conference games coming up at New Hampshire on Tuesday afternoon before coming home to host Vermont Saturday evening. Hitting the links with the women's golf team, they were at the ECAC championship last weekend finishing fourth out of 14 teams. Meanwhile, both teams are in action this week, the men at the Connecticut Cup and then later at the Classic at Shelter Harbor, while the women will head to New Jersey for the Rutgers Invitational. In tennis singles play, Michael Kennelly advanced to the second round at the Quinnipiac Invitational, while Abby Liu advanced to the semifinals at the Marist Invitational. Both the men and the women are back in action this week on Wednesday as they head to Siena before playing in individual tournaments this coming weekend. The men's and women's cross-country teams ran at the New England Championships with the men finishing 29th and the women finishing 28th. Coming up this weekend, both teams will be in Albany for the America East pre-conference meet this Saturday. And it's that time again. Basketball coming back for media day at the state capitol on Thursday morning. And Friday night is Midnight Mania at the Chase Family Arena. Doors open at 9 and for those who come, you get a Hard Rock t-shirt. 
With the basketball season fast approaching, the Hartford women's basketball team stepped in front of the cameras before stepping on the court. Hawks Vision takes a closer look at the Hartford Hawks women's basketball picture day. That's all the time we have for this week's edition of Hawks Vision. Be sure to tune in next Monday for a look back at last week and a sneak peek at the week ahead. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault. Have a great week.